Thunder under here. So today we're in Space Engineers with the video that I promised you with my clan cannon. This is my first narrated video, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, so starting things off here, um, this is the original design um, that I have the previous video on showcasing. Uh, today we're going to take a look here at a triple barrel design that I had come up with. This is more of a stationary, um, like almost turret design. So you could strap this on a ship or virtually anything, any of your creations, rovers, anything like that. Um, a few disclaimers before we start. I am probably not the first person to come up with this. Um, I, yeah, so I don't take any credit for any of this stuff. Um, but I did create a script for this Gatling cannon. This is my own script and pretty much how it works is it uses the rotor displacement, or sorry, not rotor displacement, rotor position, um, and it triggers each individual barrel based off of the angle in which it is at. Um, super basic, super straightforward. Um, there's a couple variables you have to set, but it's pretty straightforward. I'll show you here. So yeah, it just reads the angle and then it'll fire each individual barrel respectively. All right, so enough with that. Let's move on to this triple barrel here that I want to show you guys. Um, they're very, very simple. It uses four timer blocks, um, pretty much a firing timer block, and then a sequenced reloading set of timer blocks. So here, I'll show you here real quick. Do I fire? So right, it detaches, or sorry, it collapses the pistons, um, detaches, and then fires the Gatlings at the same time, and then just reloads. Super simple. And you can place anything on top of these rotors here. Um, the Gatling design uses a projector block with warhead strapped to the top. Um, and then obviously as it's rotating, it welds them up. Um, but yeah, let's get started with that design there. Probably just build one single barrel. Um, so super straightforward. It's just 20 blocks in between. All right, and then we need our rotor. So we're gonna set this one as the detached rotor, so the firing rotor. Let's name it so with D. Perfect. And then some of the parameters we're going to need to set. Um, share inertia tensioner, of course. Uh, we can leave this one unlocked. That one's not too important. And then for the front one. So this one's going to be the front. Share inertia tensioner, we can lock that one. And everything else looks good there. Alright, then for the pistons. Oh. Actually, I think I have that backwards. I do. Okay, let's go back in here. Uh. All right. So two pistons. The sp uh, the space the spacing in between the um in between the pistons and the um, what I call the projectile or projectile rotor doesn't really matter. Um, I just like the half armor blocks because it allows enough clearance if something got um, bound up for any reason. And that's pretty much it as far as the mechanism goes. So we're going to come over here. 
Let's group these pistons. Um, got that, got that. We're going to name this one projectile. Change the displacement, that doesn't really matter. We're going to go in here. So these are the important settings here we need to make sure that we set. So we need to maximize all the torque, um, get the maximum clang efficiency. <laughs> Um, and share inertia tensioners, that's huge. So if you're putting this on a small grid um, and you do not share inertia tensioners, um, chances are when the weapon is loaded, uh, your ship will like start spinning. Clang will have its way with it. Um, so make sure that you do do that. It's kind of backwards thinking. You would think that that would make uh, more issues, but it actually helps with the overall um, stability of the weapon. Okay, so we're all good in here. Let's just go ahead and increase the velocity to max. All right, so that looks good. We can go ahead and detach. I think I have these backwards names, I do. So we can attach. Beautiful. Um, we're gonna lock that one. Lock. That doesn't really matter. It's just to help with that. Okay. Perfect. So interesting. Okay. Uh, for some reason, that rotor spun 180 degrees, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and dry fire it here. All right. It's not a big deal. So, let's get it out. Alright, now this is a completed mechanism here, other than our detaching system, which is just a Gatling gun positioned over top. So, depending on the projectile you were using, and again, this is all personal preference, right? Projectile does not matter. Um, I have not really done a mass limit test on it, so I don't know its full potential, um, but, um, you know, you could use this as, you know, even decoys or whatever you wanted. Um, does it necessarily have to be kinetic or explosive? Um, okay, so that looks good. Might need to drop that down a bit, but that should be okay. Um... All right, so now for setting up the programming, it's actually, or what I call programming, but the timer blocks, super straightforward. Um, so let me grab this color here. So timer block one. So um, I call this one the fire control. So there's no delay set on any of any of these, but like the second to last, I think. Yeah. So. Um, this is going to toggle the piston retract, um, and then it's going to fire the timer block too, and it's that simple, um, for the first sun. So, go in here, we're going to call this timer block 1, delay set to 1, set up actions, take our cannon, and we're going to hit retract, so that's kind of like our loading, right, or our... Um, first stage of firing. And then we're going to come. I'll read that one in a second. So, second timer block. Alright, I 
again, no delay. We're gonna go in here real quick. Find our timer block two, and hit start. All right, and I'll read the second one to you guys. So, second timer block. Um, again, super, super simple. Um, this is gonna detach the rotor, the firing rotor, and then it's gonna activate the Gatling, or shoot it once, and then it's gonna fire the timer block three. I should grab the next color. Alright, again. Alright, so remember we're gonna do the detach. It's gonna shoot. I forgot to name that, but that's okay. So shoot once, and then timer block three is gonna be start. And it's that simple. We're gonna go in here real quick. Okay, so that one is now set. Now for timer block three. Um, this is gonna fire timer four and extend pistons. So this is like the starting of the reload, right? So, is going to extend and oh, I forgot to add timer block four. Yeah, so super straightforward again. This one's set on two seconds. Delay's not too important. Um, still should function without it. But. And then that's going to be another start. And then this one, again, is I'll just come over here and read it to you, but not super straightforward. So this is just going to attach the rotor. It's that simple. So. Detach, rotor, we're gonna attach. And that should be everything completed. Cannon should be completely functional now. Let's just make sure everything is on. Uh, torque's all maxed. Perfect. And sure inertia tensioners is on. That one's locked. Perfect. Alright. Let's see if she works. All right, and going into timer block one, we can just hit start. And there it is, reload, bam. I think that just about wraps it up. Um, a couple things to note too, you know, this is not restricted to this specific design, right? Um, you do not need to use a Gatling gun to detach or to quickly detach um, your projectile. If you wanted again to get more fancy, you could do a set of grinders or, um, you know, what have you. Um, also, barrel length. Um, this is supposed to be compact, right? Because I designed this initially to be able to run on, um, you know, the Gatling design, right? Um, so it's supposed to be small. I was supposed to hang this from a ship or do a turret get up like this. Um, this I ripped this up really quick. This took me like five minutes. But, um, yeah, so if you use it on something like a turret or... Um, whatever that's why it's so compact you could stack as many of these pistons as you wanted to on top of each other um, and it's still going to work the same way obviously your spacing is going to be different though um but yeah that's pretty much it um yeah i'm 
I don't really need to show you guys how to make the Gatling itself. Like I said, it's insanely simple. All you're doing is you're making four of these, you're strapping them to one rotor, and then just set up a sequence of timers to fire them. And you don't have to get super fancy, like I said, with the script that I made. That's why I was talking about the script. Because um, it, it tries to fire at the top of the barrel, every or the top of the, um, you know, at zero degrees every single time it tries to fire. Um, it doesn't need to be specific like that. If you just set up a series of timer blocks to fire um, at a given interval, like say each each barrel fired um, every four seconds, um, and then you set up a timer to initiate that first barrel, let's say one second. So it was like one barrel fired, then the second barrel, then the third, then the fourth. Um, just like that. It would do the exact same thing that this would. So. Yeah. But, yeah, see, it tries to fire at the top every single time. It's it's a little off. The script's not perfect. It could use some refining, but it works most of the time. So. But, yeah. So. Anyways, um, do you guys have any questions? Leave a comment below. Um, try to answer it to you. I might post this stuff on um, the workshop. Um... I mean, I don't really need to. It's insanely simple. Like I said, there is not much to it at all. Um, but yeah, I think that just about concludes this video. Um, if you liked the video, please leave a like. And we will see you guys later.